Tim here has just put some poop in the forest because he says what Tim? It's a fun thing to watch it disperse in the rainforest. <laughs> oh my god, it smells terrible. <laughs> Are you going to show this to your high school students? I'm going to show it to the world. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm trying to figure out what happens to poop in the forest. And why is poop so important to the ecosystem? Not just in the jungle, but everywhere. But in order to do that, we got to have some poop. Now let's hold up for a minute. I never imagined in a million years that I would be out here in the Borneo forest watching excrement get eaten up and rolled away by beetles. So this really is a pretty important experiment. Or maybe it's just all around disgusting. Look at this poop. <laughs> And if you're gonna study what happens to dung in the forest, you gotta sit around and watch it. It's not a glamorous job, but somebody's gotta do it. I have learned that there are two types um, of dung beetles that we'll be observing. So there are the rollers and the burrowers or diggers. And so the diggers we found have located the specimens first. And so like they land on it and then like they disappear and they just go right in. And sometimes they'll go in from underneath and then we don't see them for some time. Rollers, they'll, they'll land nearby it, or like, and then they'll kind of come up to it, and right away they'll just start, start making a little ball, and then they'll go off with it. They're a lot bigger too, so. <laughs> Dung beetles are probably the, one of the strongest, probably second strongest animals per body size of any animal, um, but they can move a thousand times their body weight, not pick it up, but move it which would be like us moving a um, humpback whale. This time lapse really shows what's going on with a pile of poo in the jungle. Lots of flies coming in and dung beetles sneaking up underneath. And then you got the big rollers that are rolling those balls up and hauling them off. This is just two hours. In two hours, this pile was completely gone. Now, who says dung isn't important in the rainforest? Think of all the critters feeding off of this. The next question is, then, where is all this poop coming from? Well, a lot of it's coming from primates. These are macaque monkeys. Boy, they're eating a lot and they're pooping a lot. In the Borneo rainforest, there are also orangutan. Proboscis monkeys. Look at this monster proboscis. I mean, he's pooping a lot, right? That poop's got to go somewhere. It's providing nutrients for all those beetles and all the plants. There's also the sun bear. Does a bear poop in the woods? I think so. And when it does, it's spreading nutrients throughout the forest. You see, poop is incredibly important. Look at the wild hog. And this the Bornean pygmy elephant. Believe me, I've waited my whole life to see this, and that was the one glimpse I got. But when these guys go poop, it's a huge poop. I mean, they leave a pile behind because they're elephants. Look at this. And it's not just the critters. We've got fungus, bacteria, microorganisms, everything growing in the poop. It was so gross. Which is exactly the way you wanted it. It is exactly what I wanted. It was what I was hoping for. There are other ecosystems in Borneo where poop is equally important. We gotta head out of the jungle and we gotta get ourselves into the caves. And I've got some amazing things to show you in one of the scariest, most incredible, most horrifying places I've ever been in my life. This is called Gomentong Cave. Check this out. The cave is inside a huge mountain made of limestone, and it's almost completely hollowed out. Now this is the heart of the jungle, but that doesn't mean people don't live here. There are houses up on the side of the mountain, and homes down at the entrance of the cave. And here you can see a whole bunch of ropes and ladders. Now why would there be a whole bunch of ropes and ladders at the entrance to the cave? Well, it's because of this. This is an example outside the entrance, but these exist inside the cave, all to get at this. This is a nest from a little bird called a swiftlet. 
The nests alone can go for as much as 2,000 US dollars per kilogram. They will be turned into a delicacy called bird's nest soup. And they come from these little guys. These are swiftlets. And they're making their nests on the wall out of saliva. And there are hundreds of thousands of these swallows inside Gomentang Cave. You can see them on the wall. This is the scene every evening at Gomentang Cave as the bats are warming up their wings to go out and feed for the night. The swiftlets have already come in. They're in their nests and they're pooping and it's raining down in the cave. In the morning, the bats will come back and they'll poop in the cave. Remember, that's what we're here for. We're here to look at the poop in the cave and see what kind of ecosystem is living around the poop. As the poop piles up on the bottom of the cave, countless animals and insects and bacteria and organisms feed on it. Here, a family of crabs are eating the microorganisms that are living inside the poop. The mound of excrement in the middle of the cave could be as high as 5 meters. The average human is 1.5 meters tall. That's a mountain of poop, and that mountain of poop attracts critters of all kinds, including cockroaches and spiders as big as your face, and swiftlets on the wall in their little nests made of saliva, living right next door to things like this. I mean, these are things that not even your nightmares can dream up. There's a quarter of a million bats flying around in the cave. And probably many more cockroaches than that. This is a really special place. I mean, this is an ecosystem unlike any other. And it's all driven off of the poop. You can see just how much poop piles up. People ask, do you get poop on your head? Well, yeah, you do. It's raining down. Remember, the main source of all of this poo falling down, they provide a very valuable resource. Those are the birds that make the nests that are worth a lot of money. So the people that live in this area, they have built structures inside the cave so they can sleep in there to protect the birds and the nests from would-be intruders. I don't know if I'd be able to stay the night here. And with all this life around, there's also death. And in that death, more life exists. I headed outside to watch the bats do their nightly migration out of the cave and head off to eat insects in the jungle. And they're not safe yet because there are bat hawks outside hunting these bats down and swooping through them and picking them out one by one. I suppose it's a cruel world. And as the sun sets on another incredible day in Borneo, I'm reminded of the importance of poop in our world. And I'm hoping that maybe you will give poop a second look and really appreciate something that we call waste. <laughs>